That's what my granddaughter always says whenever she drinks anything, the youngest one. Hey, welcome to day 283 of our Let's Grow Annual Challenge. Sharon Hornell from here. And today we are on to step two of the soap process. I haven't finished my bars of soap much this year. Probably because I'm over them. It's my fourth year talking about the soap framework. Now today, with respect to communication growth, we are hopping into step two. Yesterday we told our story about where we are and where we want to be, our current and our desired story. There's mine. And today we are going to start brainstorming ways to fill that gap. How are we going to fill that gap between where we are and where we want to be? Now, my desired story and my current story, I'll just tell you a couple key points of it. Number one, I want to improve my video and make them better for the people that I'm here to serve. And so one of those means dealing with figuring out and improving my visuals as well as maybe adding some editing, which I'm probably not going to do due to my visual challenges, but it's a possibility that I will consider today. But basically I said, currently no editing. I just shoot, click, upload, boom. That's what you see is what you get. Secondly, I want to add more visual elements besides my handwritten backwards because I'm on an Android. I have to write everything backwards. Uh, information and visuals. I want to find a way to like beef up my visuals and make them a little more fun, a little more professional, a little more attention getting. Uh, right now I'm not doing that, obviously. And so over the next couple of months, and I'll do this during our growing process, I'll probably stick with this same area to improve and set goals for. And But today what I realize is, here's where I'm at right now with my videos. Pretty much hasn't changed much since I started doing them in 2018. 2017 played with a little uh, but was still too scared to do videos and by 2018 I was like okay doesn't matter if I'm scared I got to figure it out and do them anyway so I started committing to myself with an annual challenge that I would do a video every single day and that's what I've done since then I think I missed one day Christmas 2020 because I had COVID or 2019 because I had COVID even before we knew COVID was a thing and then uh, I think I've been my timing's been late once in a while but I haven't missed a day since I don't think anyway Lots of annual challenges, lots of uh, tools and lessons learned. And today's is just the brainstorming tool. And I've been using this one pretty much all year because I like it the most. And it's the 1031 tool where you brainstorm at least 10 possible ways to begin filling that gap. And I don't care if it takes you till midnight tonight, make sure you come up with 10. Why? Because there's something about once we push ourselves past 5 and 10, we open up our eyes to the possibilities of what else is possible and we start thinking outside our normal way of thinking which is limited by our beliefs and our past experiences and we open our mind up to broader horizons and more possibilities that's why i always like to go for at least 10. Uh, usually once the hardest is getting past two and then getting past five and once we do that the floodgates open and all of a sudden we've got 25 ideas or 25 possible options that we could start taking action on right away which is what we're going to do tomorrow so today just come up and brainstorm 10 things and i say if you get them done before midnight circle the three that you are most likely to act on or that appeal to you the most that feel really good to you and we'll talk about those tomorrow any questions, what do you do? You ask, of course. I've got a Q&A on this video if you're seeing me on Facebook. Otherwise, you can find me anywhere. Let's Grow Annual Challenge private Facebook group is the best place to find me with questions for this group because then everybody learns from the same questions and answers. All right, that's it. Have an awesome day. Have fun brainstorming your 10 things. I have not started mine yet, but I did set my page up to write them down. And I guess as part of my story, I've already got a couple things that are really clearly... Did uh, called out in that that I could put as my options for my 10 options. All right, have a great day. I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.